Hello everyone and welcome back to class. Today's session is directed to this area or core muscles. Remember, this is an area that's gonna help you with so many yoga postures. So today we're gonna strengthen this area, core muscles, obliques on the sides. Let's get ready, get into your mat as I usually do. I have my towel with me just in case I need it later on. Um, so go ahead in a straight position. Today we're gonna start with some breathing techniques called stomach vacuum. You're gonna inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, contracting the stomach inside, tummy towards the vertebras and trying to bring it up. Contract the pelvic floor, this is this, is this area. Staying there, so keep that stomach vacuum there your shoulders will be rounded gently. Your back will be straight. Keep breathing there. Do not hold your breath here. We keep that stomach vacuum. Three more seconds. And release it. Inhale, we repeat two more times through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. It's easier, you can bring your hand on your stomach to feel that stomach going inside. And if you feel with your fingertips, you already feel the core activation and you feel your muscles. Staying there, stomach inside, stomach up. Keep breathing there. Nice and hold. Five seconds. Two, three, four, one more, five. Release it, release that stomach one more time. Inhale deeply. Exhale through the mouth, stomach inside, stomach in and up. Contraction, contract. Touch your stomach with your fingers, feel that core engagement. This is called the transverse abdominal muscles. Staying there, engaging that core, shoulders relax. Three more seconds and release it. Let's go straight away to table pose. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Now we're gonna repeat this breathing technique, stomach vacuum, but in this position. If you want to point your toes, go ahead. If you prefer to tuck them, by all means, completely up to you. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, stomach inside. Feel the stomach going up. My toes are pointing and they're pointing way more because all my body's engaged. Seems like I'm not doing anything, but there's a big and hard engagement there on my core. Keep breathing. Five seconds. Feel your stomach going up, up to the ceiling, up to the sky. And release, neutral spine, neutral back. See how my lower back is moving gently? Only by this breathing technique. Inhale deeply. Exhale through the mouth or through the nose, whatever you prefer. On your exhalation, imagine your stomach is like a balloon. There's no more air in that balloon. So that stomach is suck in like vacuum. Stay there. Relax the head, no tension on the head. No tension on the shoulders. Everything is in the core and lower back muscles. Three more seconds. And exhale, release. We go for the last one. You will understand why we're activating these muscles first with this breathing. Inhale deeply. Exhale through the nose or through the mouth. Stomach inside. Keep breathing, shoulders relax. Shoulders don't move, the shoulders stay there. It's just the stomach that moves. Stay. Five, four, stomach in up to the sky. Three, two, one. Exhale, release, neutral spine. Now, we're gonna combine it. Tuck, tuck your toes on the mat, bringing the knees away from the floor, keeping that stomach vacuum. So knees away from the floor, Keep that stomach vacuum towards you. Stay there with me. 10 seconds, one. Keep breathing through the nose. Feel the stomach burning already. Four, five. If your stomach ins is inside with your stomach vacuum, should be burning. Seven, 
eight, nine, keep looking forward in front of your mat, 10. Stay there with me, open and close the knees. I know it burns, keep breathing. One, five, two, three, stomach in, don't let it drop. Four, five, exhale, release. Go to child pose, toes together, knees, knees apart, chest down, extend that back. Head relax, shoulders relax, in and out through the nose, relax that core before we go to the next posture. Two more breaths there, extend that back. Today's session is about strength, a little bit more of strength. Inhale, look forward, bring the hands underneath the shoulders back again your table pose. Let's bring the left leg up, pointing your toes, right hand up. Make sure your body's in a straight line. Be careful, we tend to lift the leg quite higher. So if it's like super high, bring it down. Keep breathing, point your toes, point your fingers, straight line. Five seconds, stomach vacuum. One, two, three, core engage, four, Five, exhale, release, hand down, knee down, opposite side. Inhale, bring the right leg up. You can check your leg to make sure it's in the straight line as the hip and left hand up. Keep breathing here, five seconds, stomach vacuum. Here it's a little bit harder to do the stomach vacuum because your muscle is completely stretched, but keep that energy going up. Four, five, exhale, release, release the hand, release the leg. From here, transition straight away to downward facing dog. One breath in downward facing dog. You can bend your knees quickly. And let's go target that core as we said at the beginning. Inhale, bring the right leg up, point your toes. Exhale, bring the right knee to the right elbow. Engage the core, tummy inside, point your toes. Kick out. We repeat two more times towards that right elbow. Exhale, right hand elbow touching with your knee inhale extend it exhale knee to the elbow release downward facing dog maybe you're sweating already it's normal and it's great it means you're breathing properly inhale left leg up this time point your toes on your exhalation stomach in left knee to left elbow tug your tummy in Inhale, extend, exhale, knee to elbow, one more time, inhale, exhale, knee to elbow, release, extend the hamstrings, bend the knees, one at a time, one, five breaths here, two, three, four, five. Inhale, bring the right leg up once again. This time we go to the opposite elbow. Right knee to left elbow. Twist. Inhale, extend. Exhale. Twist. Feel it in the obliques. Inhale. Exhale. Release. Catch your breath back in downward facing dog. We change the side. Inhale, left leg up. Today is a powerful session. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale. Inhale, one more. Exhale. Back to center, going to downward facing dog. If you need to go into child pose to reset, by all means, go into child pose, otherwise stay here with me. Downward facing dog, extending that back, or alternatively, if this is quite intense, if it was quite intense for your core, for your body, just go into child pose this way. I am sweating already. I hope you are too. It means you're doing it properly. We don't have to spend, you know, one hour at the gym to really target different muscles. You can really do it once you are conscious, completely conscious about the mo body movement. We go once again. Last one in downward facing dog. After this, we're gonna sit down, I promise. Downward facing dog here. Bring the feet together. 
as close as possible as you can. Remember, if your downward facing dog is bending the knees, it's fine, as long as your back is straight. Inhale, bring the right leg up. Now, exhale, bend the right knee, point your toes, knee to the chin, stay here with me, rounding that back, stomach vacuum. Five seconds, one, keep pushing strong with the hands, two, three, four, five, exhale, take a child pose before we go to the next one. Catch your breath back, in and out through the nose. Remember and focus on that stomach vacuum that's gonna help you so much to hold your postures. Inhale, look forward. Let's go for downward facing dog. Bending the knees if you need to. And let's go for the left leg. Inhale, left leg up, point your toes. Exhale, point, point, point. Left knee to the chin. Stay there with me, keep pushing. Look at my back, how it's rounding, because I'm pushing nice and strong with the core. Three, four, five, exhale, release. Downward facing dog, our child pose, whatever you prefer. Just resetting over there. Inhale, look forward. Let's go into sitting positions. Sit down there. We're gonna go into Navasana, both postures, and a little variation of Navasana. So go ahead, sit down there. If your back is really arching, you can use a towel, put it underneath your coccyx and behind, that's gonna help you. Now, we start with our Navasana, simple variation, opening the chest, hands forward. If this is too much for you, you can grab your legs, this is gonna help you, but keep that core engaged, stay. If you want a little bit more challenging, you're gonna extend the legs, so choose your variation. Easy variation, moderate or medium, and a little bit more advanced. I'm giving you three variations, you choose. Stay here with me. Now, wherever you are in any variation, we're gonna start bringing the right toes down. Point your toes, exhale, toes down, up. Left leg stays completely steady, no movement at all. So this is variation one. Variation two. Variation three, just the right leg goes down, yeah? One more time before we pass to the left side. In any variation that you are, go for it. Left, opening up the chest, two, we do eight. Three, feel it in the core. Four, five, six, seven, look up, eight. Last eight, we do two legs, one, Keep your back straight. Your upper body is not moving. Two, three, keep breathing. Four, five, six, seven. One more, eight. Back to center, knees to the chest, release. Relax, relax that back, relax the core. You can lean forward, just extending that back. Very good. Nice, really good. Excellent. You can feel that core, all this area is burning. We're resting a little bit here, and then we're gonna target the obliques. The obliques are the side of the core that you usually use when you do Russian twist. We're gonna do something similar. We go back again in Avasana, any variation that you want. Variation one, variation two, variation three. Stay here with me, index fingers forward, introduce your fingers, this is a mudra, a connection of your fingers. Let's bring the hands to the right, five times each. Keep looking forward, one, two, three, four, one more, five. Back to center, opposite side, keep looking forward, two, three, four, one more. Five, release, knees to the chest, relax the back. Last Navasana in two sections. I hope that you have the energy today. Do these movements, these postures, really nice and engaging to the core. Bring the legs back up. Last Navasana, five breaths. Remember, choose your variation. Two, three, 
four, five. Lower the lower back, lower the legs. Stay here with me, keep looking at your toes. Five seconds, one, two, three, four. If you're shaking, it's good. Five, knees to the chest. Relax, relax the head, relax the shoulders. Nice and easy. Very good. Exhale, bring your feet together, butterfly pose, laying down butterfly. Relax and reset here for a couple of breaths. Now, bring the hands underneath your coccyx, palm facing down. You can bring them like this, together, like in a triangle pose, finger facing down protecting that lower back. Keep your feet together. We're gonna lift the legs up in a butterfly pose and down. Here we're targeting the lower abdominal muscles down. Be careful with your lower back. Your lower back should be touching the floor. Avoid arching the back. Otherwise is the back working. We want the core to be holding everything. Up and down at your own rhythm. Couple of breaths there. Careful with your neck. If your chin is facing up to the sky, bring it close to your chest. Three more times. One. Two. One more. Three. Exhale, release. Knees to the chest. You can hug your knees. Relax the tension from the head, from the neck, the shoulders. In and out through the nose. Exhale, release, release the legs up to the sky, point your toes, tug your toes, point them, tuck, Point, tuck, point, tuck. One more, tuck, keep them pointing. Now bring the hands underneath the hips once again in triangle. We're gonna start bringing one leg down at a time. We'll start with the right. On your exhalation, right leg goes down, keep pointing the toes. Leg doesn't have to touch the floor, but it goes really close to the floor. Inhale, back up to center to join the left leg. Exhale, left, we alternate. Inhale, up. Exhale, coordinate with your breath, that's super important. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, up, exhale, down. Inhale, up, exhale. If there's any pain on the lower back, feel free to bend the knees. Go into an easier variation that will be looking this way. Nice and easy. Control. Lower back always flat. Mm -hmm. If you're comfortable on the back with the legs extended, keep them extended. It's a little bit more challenging. Last two rounds. Right, exhale, left, last one, right, exhale, back to center. Keep your toes pointing there, stay, believe it or not, only here you're working on that core and you're activating the circulation on your legs. Let's do circles. The legs will be separated, circles there. Go as low as you can, protecting that back. Three, we do five in each side. Four, one more, five. Opposite side, big circles. One, two, keep your hands underneath your back, protect that back. Four, one more, five. Knees to the chest, relax. Relax there, in and out through the nose. You can close your eyes. Keep breathing deeply. Feel that engagement.
engagement and that core. Maybe tomorrow you are a little bit sore. If you're doing the postures properly, you might feel that core abdominal muscles tomorrow morning. Just relax it, bring the feet up to the sky into happy baby, rocking your body from one side to the other. This is not only opening the hips, but it's relaxing your core and your shoulders. more times and exhale release let's finish we're gonna do 10 more repetitions of our last posture bring the hands again on the lower back protect that back bring the legs up you're gonna kick your hips up to the sky and down up to the sky and back and down up this is three this is four I'm putting my hands on my lower back to protect that five, six, make sure the coccyx is lifting the floor and the lower back as well. Eight, nine, one more, 10. Lower the legs, bending the knees, relaxing that back before we go into Shavasana, bring the legs from one side to the other, let them drop. You can go at your own rhythm if you prefer to do it faster. Some people prefer it faster. Some people prefer to stay on one side for a couple of seconds there before passing through the other side. So it's up to you. You choose. Let's take here five more seconds in any speed that you're into. and release it when you're ready into your Shavasana. Remember, always absorbing that energy of your postures. We're gonna take three deep inhalation and exhalations. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose or through the mouth, whatever you prefer. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out. One more time, inhale. Exhale out. Bringing the tension back to your fingers, to your toes, shaking your head, awakening your body after this little sequence or maybe intense sequence of core engagement. Bend both knees this time, rock your body to the right, stay there for one breath. And with the help of your palms, not with the help of your back, is the palms pushing your body away, bringing your back straight, feeling that someone pulls you from the coccyx and someone pulls you down from the from the crown of the head. Rubbing your palms, creating some heat. Place your hands in front of your eyeballs. Gentle tapping your forehead. Tapping your cheeks, your chin. Place your hands in front of your eyeballs. Slowly blink your eyes. With a fresh look in your eyes, open them. Looking at your palms, hands together in Namaste and Namaste everyone, have a beautiful day, have a beautiful evening.